Have you ever had an experience where you have an important deadline coming up that you know you need to get working on, but no matter how hard you try, you find it almost impossible to focus and get productive on that specific task? For some reason, you have the energy for things like running errands, tending to emails or social media, but you just don't have the energy to do that task. Welcome back to another stress video. Today we will delve into this phenomenon, which is known as the yerkes dodson Law. And to capture how this principle works, we will introduce you to a tool known as the Human Performance Curve. What it shows us is that we perform best when we do have the right amount of stress to create drive, which motivates us to get things done. But if you keep pushing yourself for long periods of time, this can quickly shift into chronic stress where you burn out and here performance drops and it becomes a real struggle to get things done. In the beginning of the 20th century, psychologists Robert Yerkes and John Dodson wanted to show the relationship between arousal levels and performance. Arousal is a state in which you feel excited or very alert, for example, as a result of fear, stress or anger. They found that providing light electrical shocks to mice could motivate the mice to successfully learn to complete the maze. In other words, to complete the task. But when the electrical shocks got stronger, the mice struggled to focus on the task at hand and instead focused on escaping the shocks by running around in random directions. What they demonstrated from this was that performance does increase with physiological or mental arousal, but only up to a point. So what happens when your stress levels are too low? If we go back to the mice experiment, if the mice didn't receive any electrical shocks, they would have no desire to complete the maze. And the same principle applies to you. When you have no stress or very little stimulation at your job or in your life, you may start doing the bare minimum instead of giving it your all, as you feel bored and there is no sense of challenge or motivation. And what happens when your stress levels are too high? When the electrical shocks became too strong, the mice went into panic and their focus shifted to survival and how to escape the pain of the shocks instead of how to complete the maze. The same applies to you. You have been pushing yourself for a very long time and you have experienced one crisis after the next. Chances are high you might be exhausted or even in burnout. And when here, you struggle to focus or get work done. Through this research, another important distinction became clear. When your stress levels are too high and you are starting to take strain, when it comes to simple tasks, that do not require a high level of cognitive ability, you can continue to perform. But the minute you are required to complete tasks that require a lot of mental or emotional engagement, it can feel too hard. You might feel like you just cannot get going with the task. What normally takes you a relatively short time to do might now take hours or days because you just don't have the mental or emotional resources to focus or concentrate. So the next time you notice you're finding it extremely hard to get work done, work that requires a lot of mental energy and you find yourself doing anything else but that task and you're busy judging yourself for procrastinating, maybe you can step back, give yourself some compassion. Maybe the best thing to do in those moments is to take a break and find ways to recharge and come back later when you have more energy. So what is the ideal amount of stress or arousal to have? Positive stress is where we reach the ideal balance of stress or arousal and challenge. Under these conditions, we can get into what is known as the zone. This is the space where you can achieve peak experience or what is also known as flow. Flow is a state of mind where you become so fully immersed in the activity that you lose track of time. Work feels effortless. And most importantly, you can focus and get a lot of work done. To get into the zone, 
You need to find the perfect balance for you between the level of pressure and challenge. When you get this balance right, it activates your drive and motivation where you feel stretched and alive. So the question for the day is, where do you sit on the human performance curve today? Thanks for watching. To continue watching the stress series, click here.